Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we got here to 8-Bit Solid Snake. Alright, now it's really Morty. Uh, but in this part, we're going to be taking on the Ecrogeek Gym Leader. I thought I'd show you something. This egg that I had uh, from the daycare off-screen when coming back up to the gym from healing it actually hashed into a Magby. Now, something I thought I should mention is even though these Pokemon aren't going to get bios, uh, you can get a Pichu, an Iglybuff, a Cleffa... Smoochum. Actually, I'll just list the Pokemon on screen, though. But they'll know an exclusive move, like right here. You see this uh, Magby knows Dizzy Punch. Uh, the Pokemon from that egg also has a 10% chance of being a shiny Pokemon. Just like my coughing here, which, as you can see, is named Methane. Or it is blue, it is a gas, and it is explosive. Hooray. Um, really quick. Uh, okay. Did not mean to select Surf. That badge is required. But anyway, I taught my Pokemon some different moves. At Goldenrod Department Store, you can get the TM for Ice Punch, as well as Thunder Punch and Fire Punch, and I got that and taught it to my Croconaw. Um, I also taught Fanpy my Rollout TM. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I've just been lazy. I also taught a Headbutt. And Eevee... Um, also has headbutt on it as well. Uh, I bought another headbutt TM at Goldenrod and taught all that to it. So now that I'm done being lazy with my moves, let's fight gym lead. Fight the gym leader. <laughs> yeah, his name's gym leader. Good of you to come. Here, Necrotic Pokemon have been revered. It is said that a rainbow-colored Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. Oh, me. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what the others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of Rainbow Colors. You're gonna help me reach that level! Wanna bet, buddy? Alright, this is Morty! Uh, Morty can be kind of challenging if you're not lucky with his sleep-inducing moves. Uh, he starts off with a Ghastly with the moves Lick, Spite, Mean Look, and Curse. Um, I'm just starting out with coughing here just to give it a little bit of experience because I really don't think that Ghastly is going to be much of a threat because it doesn't have Hypnosis. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Fanpy and hope to God it doesn't do Curse. Because I'm going to try to get a rollout combo going here. Okay, it's doing like, don't paralyze, please, please. Oh! How did I freaking... No. And now watch, now it's going to do Curse on my turn that I spent healing. Let's see here. That was a cheap move. Uh, let's see here. Do I not have a move that can heal sleep? I don't have a mint berry. Or, or, not, not, bleh, I need a paralyze heal. Excuse me, I need a paralyze cure berry. For some reason, I thought I had sleep. I actually did have a sleep healing item. The irony. Alright, take a purse cure berry. And watch, curse. I call it curse. Yep, curse. Yay, you did it. Tell your mother. Okay. I'll stop trying to make fun of Curse with the same joke. Okay, anyway. Uh, it's down to half HP. I'm going to chance Mud Slap. Even though I have better moves, I'm going to chance Mud Slap. Just to hope it works, because it's taking out Pokemon. Yeah! I was actually right to chance it there. Okay. Fanpy still remains my only Pokemon without a nickname. Alright, now he's sending out Haunter. He's actually got two Haunters. So, I'll decide... Mm, we'll go to Rory. Just because uh, Rory's got Dig... Alright, this Haunter is level 21, which means that it has the moves Hypnosis, Curse, Mimic, and Nightshade. Definitely the least threatening of his two Haunters, and Heart Gold and Soul Silver, it has Hypnosis and Dream Eater, as well as Curse and Nightmare, which is pretty threatening. But in this game, this... So much for not being threatening. Uh, what this thing will like to do is it'll like to Curse, and then... Uh, it'll like to Hypnosis and then Curse. That's mainly what it does. Uh, we have an Awakening, so we should use it. I don't have any Mint Berries or any more Awakenings, though, so I'm just going to hope to God that it doesn't... Alright, there's Nightshade. Uh, Nightshade's not that devastating of a move. It does damage equal to its level, so it's really not that bad. And my phone just beeped. I forgot to mute it before recording, actually. Um, Alright. I like the digging a hole animation. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Well, I just mean, like, it matches up with it really easily. What the heck? My phone just vibrated by its... Okay, my phone is, like, weirding out here. I don't know, maybe, like, it's a job for the Mythbusters or something to figure out, though. But my phone's, like, perpetually vibrating. It's weird. Um, let's go back over to Fanpy, I guess. Uh, this Gengar of his is really threatening. It's got Hypnosis, Mean Look, Shadow Ball, and Dream Eater. Uh, in the remake, instead of, uh, Dream Eater, it has Sucker Punch, which means that if you attack it with an attack that'll do damage that turn, it'll counter you. 
uh, before you get a chance to strike it. Uh, let's see if we can get that rollout combo going. Yeah, you missed! Ha ha! Alright, come on. I have Quick Claw, so let's hope Quick Claw comes through for me and I can get a really long rollout combo going. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, wow! Come on, keep going, Fanfy! Go, 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 I thought for sure I was going to take it out in a single rollout combo, and I was going to, like, beat him with the strategy of the last gym leader. Uh, um, Gengar here, Dream Eater is what's going to do the most damage in the original game because it's a special attack, and... Oh, that was a cheap move. Um, in the remake, though, Shadow Ball does a lot more damage because it is a uh, special move, whereas in this game it's physical, and Gengar really does not have that good a physical attack. Uh, let's see here. Dig! Alright, come on. Live through it. Live through it. No. With the same type of attack bonus, it was still enough to take out Growlithe. Uh, Eevee is going to be of absolutely no use to us in this fight, just for the sheer fact that it only can't hurt ghost types with its moves. Uh, let's go for Surf. Actually, Bite would have done more damage, but... Wow. Wonderful. Wow. This fight is just blowing up in my face. On. Another critical hit! Are you serious? Uh, let's throw Eevee out there as a scapegoat. And then we'll just revive, I guess. On. Okay, I knew it was going to do that. On the turn that he does that, let's go ahead and heal up Crocodile. Again, I usually don't like using items on these gym battles when I'm on screen, but I've been ridiculously unlucky this time with him getting two criticals with Dream Eater. Uh, luckily, his HP is full, though, so that him doing Dream Eater here is not going to heal him at all. Oh, and of course, Eevee can live through it! Uh, I guess Sand Attack could have been useful. You know what? Actually, no, Eevee's asleep. Never mind. Uh, let's just waste a turn, I guess. Yeah, yay, you're draining half of 3 HP for me. Wonderful. How wonderful for you. Okay, now that that is over, let's hope that Croconaw can just be a total freaking bamf and just win this. Alright, let's see here. Uh, let's do Bite, just to get the super effective attack in there, just to see how much it does. Um,. I believe in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you can potentially have, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? You can potentially have Crunch by this point in the game, and Crunch is just, it utterly destroys them if you have a Croconaw. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Not quite. Okay. Okay. Come on. This is what I like to see. I like to see him missing and me hitting. I like to see that. Yeah! Oh, God, this fight has been rocky, to say the least. All right, his last Pokemon is his level 23 Haunter with the moves Spite, Mean Look, Mimic, and Nightshade. Again, not that bad of a Pokemon, because its only real method of attacking is Nightshade. Uh, in the remake, though, it does have Sucker Punch, so that can be a bit threatening. Oh, yeah, Mean Look, yeah, like I was going to fight you with Methane. Yeah, that was... Yeah, I was totally going to do that. So, yeah, good thing that you uh, prevented me from switching. Yeah. Really good strategy there. Ha <laughs> ha! Irony! Critical! Yo! I promise to never say that again. And I love Croconaw's max HP at the end of that. The ultimate teabag. 69. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. Ha ha ha! Mill received the Fog Badge! Having the Fog Badge, Pokemon to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokemon that no surf will be able to use that move anytime. I want you to have this too. Bum, 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 bum. This is Shadow Ball. Um, Shadow Ball is a pretty good move, but it's a physical attack in this game. And that's actually a mistake on the developer's part. It lowers special defense, but it's a physical move. Which doesn't make any sense. And yes, it is nighttime. I had a recording break between uh, going into the gym and coming out. So frequently in this game, actually, I've gone into dungeons when it's nighttime and come out when it's daytime and vice versa. Let's go ahead and heal up really quick. Uh, 
Um, now that all that is over and we can use Surf, you'll see some things pop up in the corner of the screen showing you things you can do now that you have Surf and items you can get. Uh, we're supposed to go out this way, in this direction, uh, to progress in the game, but we're going to save that for next time. Uh, for now, we're going to go out this way. Well, we're going to stop at the item store off camera, though, and I'll tell you what I got, though, but anyway. And we want to hear the awesome music that is the Route 42 Lake of Rage song. And we're also going to get this, an Ultra Ball, which is actually not bad to have, considering you can get it already for free. Okay, enough of the awesome music. You'll hear it more later in the LP, but I just wanted to show off my favorite song in the game really quick. Okay, so anyway, next time Pokemon Crystal, we are going out through the west exit of Ecruteek and heading towards Olivine City, the next town. See you guys then.